This story is called Ready, Set, Boo by Judy Kachka and illustrated by Claire Elsom. Ready, Set, Boo. It was Halloween. In Miss Fickle's class, Halloween was a treat. There would be a party, there would be a cool contest, there would be a costume parade. Miss Fickle liked to dress up as someone new every day. Today, she was a witch. I see lots of beautiful costumes today, Mrs. Fickle said. Everyone had a costume except Molly. She forgot hers at home. At recess, Molly felt too sad to play. She sat alone on the swings, but Molly was not alone for long. Andrew came over to see Molly. He was dressed like a superhero. I'll help you make a costume, Molly, he said. And he has his lunch in his hand. It says Andrew's lunch. Andrew spilled out his lunch bag, and then he made the bag into a dragon mask. Molly liked the dragon mask. There was just one problem. It smelled like tuna fish. No thanks, Andrew, Molly said. Next, Julia came over to Molly. Her costume was a giant book. Julia wanted to help too. I'll make you a costume, Molly, she said. Julia had a lot of books. She made Molly book wings. She made Molly a book crown. She made Molly a book skirt. Molly loved her book fairy costume. There was just one problem. Julia still wanted to read her books. No thanks, Julia, Molly said. Then Colin came over to Molly. He was dressed like a zombie baseball player. Colin liked monsters, sports, and surprises. I'll help you make a costume, Molly, Colin said. Colin led Molly to the baseball field. Surprise, he said. It was a Nutty the Squirrel costume. Nutty was the school mascot. Molly liked the costume. There was just one problem. It belonged to someone else. No thanks, Colin, Molly said. Now Kono came over to Molly. She was dressed like a rock star. I'll help you find a costume, Molly, Kono shouted. Ouch, Molly said. She covered her ears. Kono found Molly a big floppy hat. She found Molly a tiger coat. She found Molly a long scarf. Molly liked her movie star costume. It was fancy. There was just one problem. It was itchy. No thanks, Kono, Molly said. Next, a big spider came over to Molly. It was Josh. Josh liked bugs. He also liked tricks more than treats. I'll help you find a costume, Molly, Josh said. Josh held up a triangle. It was filled with blue sand and black dots. Here, Molly, Josh said, put on this cool hat. Molly liked the triangle hat. There was just one problem. Why are the dots moving, she asked. It's my ant farm, Josh laughed. No thanks, Josh, Molly said. It was time for the party. Molly still had no costume, but she had a great idea. Maybe I cannot march in the parade, Molly thought, but I can win the class contest. The contest was bobbing for fake eyeballs in green goo. Ready, set, go, Miss Fickle shouted. Molly put her face in, green goo splashed all over. You can't even see her face, just the top of her head. Molly got five fake eyeballs. She was the winner. She was also a mess. Ew, Molly, Kono cried. You look like a slime monster. Molly stared at Kono. A slime monster? That gave Molly another great idea. It was time for the parade. Miss Fickle's kids marched on. So did Molly. Happy Halloween, she cried. The end.